He talked about Birdman Mama. Yeah, he insinuated something man, about, about, about Gladys, yeah. Nah, I hope he didn't do that. You know, Bird ain't gonna play about that. Good. This what Ross gotta understand is that. Wack 100 responds to the disrespect from Rick Ross to Birdman. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, people, the disrespect is getting there in this hip hop beef between Drake and Rick Ross. Ross has already been disrespecting Drake on a personal level, speaking about his nose, mocking how he looks, with continuous online posts. Birdman came out and defended Drake, and that made Birdman an enemy of Rick Ross as well. He went and disrespected, mentioning his mother, who actually is deceased. Serious low blow. Anyway, Wack 100 has responded to this on his Clubhouse platform. Check out the clip. Yo, what the f did Ross do to Birdman? Birdman called me. Pissed off. Yeah. Well, I think Ross got mad because Birdman added uh, Drake and basically said he got his back in this shit no matter what. So then Ross got started trolling out of Birdman. He talked about his mama and all kind of shit. He talked about Birdman mama. Yeah, he insinuated something about, about, about Gladys. Yeah. Nah, I hope he didn't do that. You know, Bird ain't gonna play about that. This what Ross gotta understand is that Ross, we all know. You do not want to go to prison. Nothing about you says you want to go to prison. You used to work in the prison. That's cool. Yeah. Living good right now. You was not trying to leave that crib on that island right now and go to prison. He should not play with that, that man's mama. You are not grimy enough to be playing with that. See, this is how our people that's in position play themselves out of position. That ain't, come on, bro, to tell Drake he got his back. And you talk about something that you know that you don't play about. about. That's why they've been calling me. I knew it was something. He didn't call me seven times. He got to stop playing with that type of shit. He tripping. I hope that band didn't do that. He ain't ready for that. The ex restaurant officer does not want to go to jail. He don't want to go to jail, bro. Ross ain't ready for that type of shit. Man, Ross is a. He ain't that type of... Ross is an ex-correctional officer. He does not want to take a penitentiary chance, bro. When war comes, that that ain't him. He got the most money he didn't had in his life right now, bro. He already didn't got a scale when they lit his ass up. Up the way, right? Caught him in that Rolls Royce. And I was just that comfort way up top. You don't want to start playing with these niggas nigga been doing this shit way longer than you. Got more money than you and you don't know that you around if they with these or not. That nigga 35 years in this game playing. What you with a dead mama folk? When all the old Drake is, I got your back. You could have said anything. God, what's crazy is Ross really started it by even mentioning Stunner name in his diss song. Yeah, go get Wayne. Birdman made you and all that shit. He forced Stunner to have to say something. Doing that kind of shit and Stunner don't say nothing, Drake gonna look at it like, damn, you just gonna let that shit ride like that? He ain't had no real beef yet, bro. See, this forget carry his ass down in the essence and get the plan, he gonna find out. Getting his money from the liquor, right? That's where it's coming from, but he don't understand, like, in order to play the game. Niggas start applying pressure around that. Them people will bag up from you. Quick. You ain't getting no music money at all. That's been over with. You get money from that liquor. You get to apply an unnecessary pressure, bro. And you got unnecessary shit around you. Them people get away from you. See, so the nigga Drake said dirty Sprite. They got the away from that. Don't take much. One wrong thing. Them people get away from you. And you need to look... Do your shit, but not, don't do no shit that you know that can bring that kind of shit, bro. Like, you in your bag right now. You found a way outside of music to get more money than you was getting in music. I just texted him right now. I was wondering why he was. I said, bro, you woo 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 He said, you mother right. This nigga played with my mama. Oh, he said that? Right now, I just right texted him. Yeah. <laughs> He could have said something, but not that. Like, that ain't worth mm-hmm. what come with that. Not for this. It's y'all doing some rap shit. You put him in a position where he had to show Drake some type of something. Yeah, fam. I mean, trust Wack 100 to get involved in the biggest thing happening in hip-hop right now. Especially when it comes to beef. 
This Drake beef was just meant to be a, a hip hop beef. Stay on music. That's where it should have started and that's where it should have ended. But Rick Ross is immediately taking it to the internet, jibing, personal jabs. Now talking about people's family members. It just uh, he just got in a direction where it just didn't need to go. And it's disappointing in particular because he's an older statesman in hip hop. He's meant to be showing an example. You can't imagine Jay-Z getting drawn into a beef now anyway. But he definitely wouldn't be getting all personal. He'll keep it lyrical. Rick Wack talking about Rick Ross doesn't want to go to jail. He's not built for that. Yeah, of course he ain't built for that. But is he implying that Birdman's going to try and go to war with Rick Ross? I don't see Birdman getting drawn into this thing. Birdman has always stayed consistent that they don't beef. You look at even Lil Wayne's career. He always stayed out of beef. He, they didn't believe in it. Remember 50 trying to draw out Wayne back in the day? Back in like 09. They don't do all that. Maybe in early days, early Wayne. But Birdman, Cash Money, they don't really do any of that beef and stuff. But it will be interesting to see what Birdman's response will be. I actually bet that he won't have any response. I don't think he'll respond to it at all. He don't want to get drawn into that. Because, you know, mentioning someone's deceased mother in a disparaging way, you're not going to be thinking about hip hop or that's going to get your blood boiling to, for you to react. Hopefully, he doesn't get into that. I doubt it will. These guys are too rich, too powerful to get drawn into, into something like that. But Ricky Rose, I don't know, he's trying to just take this whole beef into another level. And it's kind of spoiling it, really. Hopefully, he gets back into just making good music. Anyway, people, I want to know what you lot think. What do you think about WAP 100's reaction to Rick Ross's disrespect to Birdman and his mother? And what do you think the next thing is going to happen in this situation? Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's fresh hip-hop opinion. Peace and love.